hala mera ilo ilo hala tak yang ilo ilo hala mera ilo ilo hala tak yang ilo ilo
Ilo City's 84th Charter Day Digital is brought to you by Department of Tourism 6 Safely Experience Western Visayas First Oman by Mayat Panay News The number one regional newspaper Congresswoman Jam Jam Baronda of the Lone District of Iloilo City J.S. Lyson More Power Corporation, bringing more to life. Metro Pacific Iloilo Water, tubig na limpyo, serbisyo sa Ilonggo.
celebration is the longest rising amidst the challenges of time. I know for sure that we will conquer all the challenges that may come before us. Let us soldier on. Bato Iloilo, ipadayon ang gugma. Happy 84th Charter Day, Iloilo City! Global Business Power, enlightening lives, empowering progress. It's safer and happier to shop, dine, and discover amazing things at Festive Walk Iloilo, Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry Iloilo. Human by Mayat. Panay News, the number one regional newspaper. Congresswoman Jam Jam Baronda of the Lone District of Iloilo City. J.S. Lison. More Power Corporation, bringing more to life. Metro Pacific Iloilo Water, tubig limpio, serbisyo sa Ilonggo. Welcome to Iloilo City, a city known for the love it showers, may it be to the people or to the environment. I always take pride on how Ilongos rehabilitate their environment, especially the Iloilo River, and how they have taken steps to share in the responsibility of managing and maintaining the ecological balance in our beloved city. I am Rosel Angela Songano, Miss Philippines Earth, Iloilo City. And with me is my advocacy I call Heart, Home, Earth, Art. H stands for home. It is focused on preserving the home that we have and the only home that we can have. This could be done by encouraging the youth to rethink their ways and engage in environmental rehabilitation programs and go greener activities. E stands for Earth. We need to be aware of the pollution that has and is still occurring in our planet. This could be mitigated if we reduce, reuse, and recycle. Lastly, the art stands for the arts. It is focused on raising appreciation for the environment through the arts. This is where we can raise our respect for the environment as we realize that it is a masterpiece no one can ever recreate. I know that we can take part in saving and nurturing our environment. As for me, I am confident that I can do that because with me stands 946,000 Ilongos and hopefully in the future, 104 million Filipinos more. I am Rosel Angela Songano, a woman of the earth. Iloilo City, a vibrant city where tradition and innovation resonate with faith and culture. From historical mansions to ongoing residential developments, creation of townships and business districts, the city levels up amidst the pandemic. The shape and geographical location of Iloilo leads one to conclude that it is the city of love. Bayang Perlas ng silanganan, alam ng puso, sa gibid mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, uyan ka ng magiting, sa manlulupig, di ka pasisil. Sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bukaw, may dilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagliningning, ang bituin na taro niya kailan pa may di magdidilim. Lupa ng araw ng walhati pagsinta, buhay ay langit sa piling mo. Aming ligaya na pag may mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo 
Just like a tree which offers nourishment and support, the city of Iloilo continues to nurture the Ilongo identity, enriching our heritage, protecting our culture, with respect to all. Kag sa aton pang adlaw-adlaw nga pangabuhi, nga may kapisan, kabakod, kag katahom nga pananawan, padayon kita sa pakigbato, para sa aton pamilya, para sa tanan, na binagid para sa mga nagtaliwan. Sa mga nagtaliwan, sa mga panimalay na nangin malinong tungod sa pagkamingaw, sa mga pagtinipon na ginabisita sa buong sangkahidlaw, para kay nanay, para kay tatay, kay lolo, kay lola, para sa mga miyembro sa aton pamilya, sa mga abyan, amigo, amiga, kag sa mga kaupod sa obra para sa mga nagtaliwan ini nga pangamuyo para sa aton tanan pamati o ginoo ining pangamuyo namon nga mga ilonggo nga sa amon padayon nga pagulikit sa tagsa-tagsa hatagan mo kami sang kusog kag paghangop para sa katiling bansang paghikugma sa amon mga palaligban kagkapaslawan, sa subong nga sitwasyon nga nagatublag sa amon pananawan, bugayi ang amon panglakaton, nga siyang manginpinhi sang amon mga handum. Pamatii o ginoo, ang ginapabutyag sang amon kasing-kasing, nga sa pangadlaw-adlaw namon nga palangitanan, Hatagan mo kami sa mabasko ng kalawasan para ang bugana sa pangabuhi, ang manginbunga sa amon gin pangabudlayan. Nagapangalaba kami o ginoo para sa amon mga lideres sa gobyerno, sa mga nagasirbisyo sa tunga sa piligro para sa kinaayo sa syudad sa ilo-ilo. Sa paghatag paglaong sa padayon nga pagbinuligay para sa tanan para sa mga nagtaliwan hatagi kami o ginoo sang grasya sa pagatubang sining pandemya sa amon hugot nga pagtuo sa imo ngalan ang paghigugma sa tanan makitan ang kapisan namon nga mga ilonggo kag ang kabakod sang amon nga gobyerno ang magapamunga sa matahong nga ilo-ilo, ini amon ginahalad sa imo o ginoo. Amen. Our esteemed Mayor, Honorable Jerry P. Trenias, and our local government leaders, to all the fellow Ilongos, in behalf of the Ilo Festivals Foundation, headed by our Chairman, Jaji Peña, and the rest of the board members, Mayong Adlao Gid Sa Inyo Tanan. Let me just say, first of all, that although we are under strange circumstances due to this pandemic, this does not hinder us from celebrating our beloved city's Charter Day. Through the form as a resilient city, we find ways and means for us to commemorate this milestone today, even virtually. Ilongos are hardy but noble breed. History recounts that uh, our culture resounds with nobility and resilience. Having been once called the Queen City of the South and a major hub for commerce, our lineage is abound with illustrious families and celebrated heroes. 
It may seem like a contradiction for Ilongos to be both noble and resilient. But in fact, these two characters complement each other. Our ongoing fight with this global pandemic has only made this more apparent in the way we have responded to the ongoing threat. As a people, Ilongos are known to be maisog kagma pinalanggaon, strong in spirit but gentle in ways. We are gentle but fierce warriors. We don't just cope, we thrive. This is evident in the way we have managed our new normal. I am proud to say that uh, despite the difficulties and setback, Iloilo City remains steadfast, strong, and beautiful. The proactiveness of our city government, the compassion and support shown by the business sector, and the overall cooperation and community spirit of citizens has truly shown to the world who we are as Ilongo who we are as people. It is therefore fitting that this year's Charter Day has the theme, Iloong, Iloilo City Charter Day, celebrating 84 years of a noble and resilient city. It may have been more than a year already that we have been fighting this global scourge, but it has been 84 years of bravery, honor, and integrity. This city has time and time again, through all challenges, maintained an aura of grace under pressure and strength of spirit. So as we all sit back and enjoy this virtual treat, this Charter Day presentation, let us all be reminded just how industrious and strong we are as Ilongos. Our beautiful culture showcases our numerous talents and skills, truly an Ilongo pride. With that, I would like to give a hearty congratulations to the cast, to the artist and production team headed by their artistic director, Mr. Eric Di Benagracia, for this wonderful show. Thank you very much, sir. I would also like to thank my fellow Board of Trustees, the IFFI, as well as the partners and sponsors of this online event. My gratitude also goes to the local historians of the University of the Philippines Visayas for, for providing us cultural and historical accuracy to this presentation. And of course, kudos to the media team, the Iloilo City government, especially to our beloved mayor, for always believing in the power of arts and culture to heal and to unite us. My salute to you, sir, for being the father of the city especially through these times. Sa mga kasimanwa ko ng mga Ilonggo, Happy Charter Day! Keep safe, God bless, and bato Iloilo, uswag Iloilo. In our celebration of Iloilo City's Charter Day, we remember the past and look forward to the future with hope and resilience. Despite the uncertainty we are all facing, the city continues to stand strong with nobility and love. Quezon, paborito gid niya nga destination sang time niya sang Commonwealth ang Iloilo City magbisita sa iya diri nga mga friends kag amo na kay si Quezon mahilig man siya mag magbayle so giga join da ang mga ano ang mga mga Ilonggo it was also in the Commonwealth period sa ano sa 1930s nga uh, one of the first nga ano nga gin, gin gin organize nga grupo sa mga nagabayle nga mga mga, mga binayle mga mga formal ball sa Iloilo amo ni siya ang gitawag nga kahirop ball uh, pero uh, sa amo man nga mga chimpo uh, inaya sa mga elite na iya pero ang sa mga ano naman ya uh, acknowledge ta nga 1930s amo man di ang nagpick sang sugar ano sa Negros so yeah, we have to accept the reality kay pick sang sugar boom sa Negros naga puli-puli man every week niya ang nag-obra to sa mga ano nga mga sakada. 
So para ma-entertain ang mga sakala sa Iloilo, kaya di ba makapahaway sila sa ilang trabaho, nagsugod man ang mga sarswela. So may mga sarswela kita in the 1930s. Uh, eventually, nagsugod ang mga sarswela kaya nagsugod naman ang mga uh, strikes sa pier natin, di ba? Uh, may mga, ano na din, may mga stupid doors kag mga working class. So nakita inis ang aton ng mga literati nga manami nga venue para ma malingaw. Uh, ang, ang term ganit na ginagamit din mga mga kalingawan sa mga ilonggo. So nagsugod sila sa, sa mga rintawag ng mga sarswela. Uh, very proud yung ilonggo sa iyang mga ano eh. What, what we have, our heritage. Ang mga hindi tayo kita naga nagadula ang amo na ang identity. Kaya because ang hambaga nila, madali ma-preserve ang identity kung ang mga nag-carry sina, ang carrier, ang purveyor sina ang identity. Proud sa amo na ang ano. Ang hambal-bala na common na ginahambal sa mga heritage conservationists na na-develop ang ginatawag na pride of place. Gusto ko i-ano siguro i-present isa-isa uh, ini siya nga mga mga ano mga value laden characteristics which make us truly a city of love so una una guro uh, which na acknowledge may ini sa aton mga outside people outside pam Iloilo makita mo gid ang warp nga ara sa Ilonggo okay and this warp is not only represented by the by the how they entertain how hindi na lang hindi na siya tawag nga Filipinos are generally hospitable, pero ang hospitality of the Ilonggos is entirely, is entirely a very sterling character. Kay may pinasahi gina siya, unique gina siya. Secondly, sa pagin, how we are called as city of love, ano gina niya na-mention ma ma -mention gina niya sa mga non-Ilonggos, na we are so close. Kaya nga siguro, connected in man ini siya nga, nga bagay, kung nga ang tradition is very strong, because hindi kita yan madali-dali iya nga, nga mas way with so many ano with uh, with modernity uh, ang kinship bala naton grabe ka close so connected kita so mar makita mo na we love we love kalingawan why, why we love ka entertainment why we love chat chatter performances kay mahili kita sa kalingawan pero sa mga violence during the American period, very sikat kita kay because amo na ang mga ang mga ilonggos love uh, love merry men. And because of that, mahilig kita magkanta, mahilig kita magsaot, mahilig kita ka ano. So, it's also one way of showing na we are very talented. We are happy people. But say uh, very fitting kina yang kita wag city of love. Okay? Kay, kay we are people who are very happy uh, despite na paano. Siguro manami man lang siya nga gusto ko i-connect with our team this year na being happy also uh, also is tantamount to being resilient. Okay? So uh, being resilient na na we can survive We can survive many we, ano, pandemics, we can survive many challenges sa aton as ilonggos, sa aton kultura, kag sa aton nga, nga aton nga pangabuhi because we, we can we can ano, we can caution the the ano, di ba? Pini aton ma, mapahagan-hagan. The beauty of Iloilo can be found in the hearts of the ilonggos expressed in creative murals, colorful infrastructure, and environmental initiatives. Aton makitan ang katahom sang Iloilo. Iloilo nga banwa ko.
Iloilo City's 84th Charter Day Digital is brought to you by Human by Mayad Panay News, the number one regional newspaper Congresswoman Jam Jam Baronda of the Lone District of Iloilo City J.S. Lison. Congresswoman Jam Jam Baronda of the Lone District of Iloilo City, J.S. Lison. Metro Pacific Iloilo Water, tubig na limpyo, serbisyo sa Ilonggo. Human by Mayad. Panay News, the number one regional newspaper. With the continued support to our industries, especially with micro, small, and medium enterprises, the trust and confidence in the business sector breathes life to the day-to-day -day challenges of the Ilongos, then and now. Tungod sa aton kapisan, padayon ang pag-uswag naton tanan. Ilonggo sa unay at ito aristokrasi na sila yung mo at that time no it, it follows nga te uh, ang aton niya nga mga mga salaligan Manila no? which became of course the, the middle class the, even the Chinese uh, the businessmen the damo na nang naturalized yung Filipino nga mga mga foreigners no the, the Chinese the, the the Indians and the Japanese nag, naging ano na sila naging naturalized na sila they were able to do business here no? the Ilonggos could afford to send uh, not on, the, their children not only uh, to attend schools in Manila but to attend schools outside of, of, of Manila in, in the US in Europe no? may mga casino espanyol na kita diri may mga may, may Basque society even during that time nga sa, 19, sa 1907 I think 1907 1905 dira sila may active di ang Basque society because may mga nabilin pa diri nga mga mga espanyol nga mga businessman nga nga ari pa diriya sa ato naga they continued with the, with the business no so the the business will kung ano pa bala nang nang ang aggregate demand bala nga ti ang kwarta ari diri mo so naturally damo man ang naga benefit we have uh, 
foreign uh, foreign houses consulates no we have the british german portuguese no mga mga ano ba mga vice consulates na tawag nila of course the, the, the consulates in manila the vice consulates are here no we have banks uh, bpi bank of the philippine islands which is at that time i think banco isabel uh, the hong kong and shanghai bank no because you cannot be declared uh, a chartered city if you if you have nothing to show no it, we are as again, again i said we are a city second of importance to manila we are the queen city of the south so naturally no although during that time may mga ibang pang mga chartered cities man no we have baguio bacolod davao cebu but because of uh, our prosperity no because of the progress that 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 we had in, in at that time no naturally we became an a, a ano no given na lang nag nag chartered city kita because of course because progressive ang iloilo uh, although the sugar is not uh, mainly produced here, it's mainly produced in Negros, but because of our deep harbor, there uh, is a transship of sugar before uh, they bring it outside, no? Australia, the US, and uh, Europe. No? Bisan dito sa Negros, gina produce ang sugar, but those who came to, who went to Negros to plant sugar, start open the haciendas, are from Haro. A lot of, of families, no? no who came there, no? And even the, ang tawag nila ng mga car tops, no? Mga car gatapas, di, pisan, hindi man sa ililo, hindi laging kuha, no? Kasi, uh, ang mga mapisan nga nag, uh, nag uh, umwad man dito sa tabok, usually, tagi ililo, di ba, no? Kasi, di ba sa time, kasi nag, uh, naghina man ng aton nga pag umwad, but uh, later on, nag uh, dasig naman kita, no? Uh, we were no longer the Queen City at, at one time, no? Because of, of the, ang paghina man sang sang port activities diri kay te uh, because of uh, strikes be, because of uh, other problems besetting this area no and uh, ang uh, ang sugar trading nag silo na ya sa sa uh, ano sa Cebu no so may may, may period nga naghina man kita no but uh, nabawi man aton no um, with for example the opening of uh, the, the, uh, we can call it a new frontier, no? Kasi we have the diversion road, the airport was moved outside uh, of the city, and uh, that space became a commercial area, no? Ang Man Mandoriao district. Sa so, subong makita mo na, no? Nga, ang mga taga Manila, taga Cebu, mga dudri, no? Wow! Ang muna ni Lilo, no? So, uh, mga dugay, mga blaway ka balik dari, no? Makibot sila, no? Nakibot sila sa pag-umwad sa Lilo. And uh, we have we have nice roads, we have uh, better facilities than uh, ano, matawai din yung pangabuhi at sa aton. In Commonwealth, the uh, unicameral ng aton Congress. Ang Philippine Assembly was the uh, Philippine Congress at that time. And ang aton ng mga congressmen were uh, forwarding the uh, petitions from the local governments and Ililo was one wanting to propose it uh, to transform itself into a chartered city but there were other uh, cities uh, in the Philippines who were pushing for themselves to become chartered cities and in essence ang kumag chartered city ka no higher ang levels in imo autonomy than an ordinary uh, city or municipality so though no ma, ma free eh, kag, eh no, dako ang power sing local officials so i think that was the primary motivation and in their hurry <laughs> apparently why nila manutisya nga dili ang population requirement uh, sa Iloilo which at the time already included Molo and Manduria but even then kulang sa 50,000 ang population na requirement to become a chartered city so, amuna nga ang initial nga Commonwealth Act had to be amended very quickly. Napirmahan ang uh, Commonwealth Act 27 October. Then, uh, amend siya as Commonwealth Act 158 by, no by November. So, nadasig lang, nanotisyan na yun nila. So, and they were able to do that because they were able to convince Arevalo and uh, La Paz to join the city. But that meant that uh, Arevalo and La Paz 
uh, would be deducted from the income source of the province. So, kinanglan ma-negotiate man sila sa province. So, going back, ma'am, dito sa Aton, nga gin-mention nyo, kadasik sang um, pag, ano nila, sang, per, sang common, sang Commonwealth Act number 57. So, gihingagaw nila para ma- Uh, malagas ang population yeah, requirement. Oo. So, November 1936, um, they were able to pass um, Commonwealth Act number no. 158. Tama, ma'am, no? Including na sila pass and uh, revelo. Revelo. So, dapat uh, may mga accounts sa mga uh, sa mga blogs wala on Iloilo, pero may yung na-mention nila Commonwealth Act 57. Hindi na siya gusto. That was the initial, pero it was amended by 158. Amo na nga, mas kompleto na yan. Kaya na-include na yan ang Lapaz called Arevalo. So with the inclusion, ma'am, of Lapaz and Arevalo, Iloilo was able to meet the population requirement already. There have been, and eventually, since 1941, ang Haro na absorbed man. Pero that was much later, yeah. Damo na nga, issue-issue nga, nakuha nga, nga ang nagpasakop ang haro din they object nga sudad sila man ano yung separate nga ang nagpasakop lang iyo well uh, ako na some of the things nga hindi din natin masabat kung nga ah itungon mo wala ito kasing documentation and there is there have been no study so far that I have located nga ay ha nagtackle sina nga mga questions anong bala natabo nga ang nga nagpasakop ang haro because it below ilo was simply just what is city proper now ang 158 was signed on November 9, 1936 and uh, effectivity is a fan approval pa pagkapirma so effectively yung city kita pero why pata na inaugurate kaya ang ginapunto uh, uh, sing pangita ay sing dates kung ano gud lang ang proper date is na na-declare kita city, pero why kita official sa the time? Nga city official. So, amo na nga ang, ang first provisions actually sa charter nga na uh, points to how the officials will be created and may election din man sila nga meet lang, pero before matabuin ang election, supposedly ma-appoint na yung presidente. Pero, ah, uh, What is interesting is that grab mismo sa uh, very first provision sa charter, ina-designate ang date sa inaugurasyon. And the date given on the charter itself is July 16, 1937. Mm-hmm. Ikabungin na siya dapat. Now, nga anang yun, August 25, ang uh, misteryo, hindi po masabat. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I can only speculate that uh, perhaps it was because hindi pa na well na accept supposedly ni Campos ang iyang uh, nomination ka uh, as mayor sometime in January it was reported in the news na sin January of 1937 yung baton niya na ang nomination although there were other names nga din float sa kaypeson pero namot ang niya si Campos so uh And why the date was changed from July to August, the inauguration, is probably because of uh, uh, availability of Nikeson. He was, uh, after all, the president and his movement was all over the country. Now, on July 16, dapat birthday Nikeson in August 19. Nag-preparar pa gani. Eh, tungod sin August 20, nag- issue siya sa proclamation nga din reset yun na ang date may proclamation din ya siya nga din reset ang date sa inauguration to August 25 so sa Inuino expecting that Quezon would arrive at least the day before may ginanta pa tanik-tanik na celebration for his birthday roti nag-abot din siya on the day itself ng June 25 And we have pictures of uh, his arrival at uh, at the docks at the waterfront in front of the Warner Barnes warehouses on board SS Mayon.
essentially the, this building was for, uh, purposely constructed as the City Hall of Iloilo in preparation for uh, first uh, in preparation sa iyang cityhood. Okay, uh, uh, 1933 siya nagsugod ang construction kag natapos ang construction uh, around the uh, late 1935. So gin schedule gin December 1936 ang uh, ang ano ganin siya ang inauguration niya. So ang inauguration ay isagit kasi mana inauguration December I think nag-start siya around December 19, isa kasi mana daw. So, kanami, kanami 1936 na Christmas, kaya inauguration yun sa building nga, nga ini. Okay? Ah, kaya, ang idea, kaya ang inauguration naman nga, uh, formal, po, uh, formal uh, declaration man sa Iloilo as chartered city, na, na happen na lang naman uh, August uh, 1937 na siya. So, daw isa pa gid ka, katuig bago na tabo to ang, uh, ang formal gid niya nga. Uh, nga declaration. Pero ang building na inaugurar na, inaugurar na siya December 1936 pa lang siya. Okay? So, as I mentioned, it was uh, intentionally gidyang uh, himoon nga City Hall of Iloilo. Pero uh, ang natabo uh, shortly ba na pagpungko sa mga op officers, sa mga officials sa alkalde sa Iloilo because by 1942 nag uh, naglupok naman ang ikaduhang uh, inaway pang kalibutan or second world war so eventually ginabandon man ang ano ang, uh, ang building and uh, by, uh, eventually the building was uh, used by the Japanese forces as the garrison okay pero pagkatapos ang gera uh, uh, nagdecide amo na i-research pa na kun kun uh, ano ano na nga daw kadali lang yan sa city government nagihatag ina sa UP o doang nabalaan ko nga nagapangayo nagapangita at that time ang UP Diliman nga magbutang sila sang isa ka UP ano sa outside of Manila okay so uh, they, are, they were looking a place and nabatian ini sang uh, uh, city government of Iloilo under mayor Fernando Lopez okay so siya sa unang ang, ang mayor so nagdecide siya ya uh, gin meeting nyang iyang nga mga mga city councilors And the uh, city councilors, di ko lang memorize ang numbers ang ano, nagpasang duha ka resolution. Nga very willing sila to donate the building uh, sa UP. Well, uh, with this pandemic nga nag um, economically daw nag uh, Ano kita nagpundo kita no nagpost kita anay once uh, this regime uh, uh, this pandemic regime is over i think uh, in place naman ang aton nga mga facilities mo so uh, we will continue to move on no we will just continue to mga buhi kita bala nga ti normal no under that new normal siguro kay ti ari naman diri mo ma-open na lang na ang mga malls naton siguro ma-open But then we have to live by with this with this, with this virus no kay kung taan awon ta in the past may mga pandemics naman mo no? and uh, the human race can uh, also survive no so siguro kung kung magtapos na diman ini eh, no ilo ilo will still be uh, a very very lovely city uh, uh personally no Diri mako ng Japan no diri do gusto ko lang gid diri Japan sa Iloilo kay tibatawai mo do kung panumdumon mo ang imo kaugalingon sa ibang nga lugar nga wala ka sang kilala um, you are uncertain of of, of things ta na magakatabo mas better to stay no and uh, better to to be here no in in the in the city uh -huh. of Iloilo Iloilo City's 84th Charter Day Digital is brought to you by Oman by Mayan Panay News, the number one regional newspaper More Power Corporation, bringing more to life. Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Iloilo.
Department of Tourism 6. Safely experience Western Visayas first. Global business power. Enlightening lives. Empowering progress. It's safer and happier to shop, dine, and discover amazing things at Festive Walk Iloilo. We have proven that we, the Longas, are tough, resilient, and novel people. We will always rise above the challenges that may come before us because we are bound by unity, powered by faith, and full of love. We will win over this pandemic just like how we stood up to the toughest of times before we became a chartered city 84 years ago. Let us hold your on. Pato Iloilo, ipadayon ang gugma. Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Iloilo. It's safer and happier to shop, dine, and discover amazing things at Festive Walk, Iloilo. Global business power, enlightening lives, empowering progress. Department of Tourism 6. Safely experience Western Visayas first. Human by Mayat. Panay News, the number one regional newspaper. As we continue to live in the new normal, the weight of uncertainty has put our resolve to the test. But we are Ilongos. In our veins, we carry the blood of Dato Paiburo. We do not just give up, and we will never give in. Rather, we give more. Kaya pa? Ilonggo, dumdumang imo handom. Ang aton pagbinuligay, amo ang inspirasyon. Kitatanan, padayon!
GCQ, MECQ, ECQ. Almost like an insurmountable task. Our lives, our hopes and dreams hanging on a balance. But we are Ilongos. Ang atong handong may hugot nga paglao. Sabiskan ano nga kalisod, gabi noligay ang tagsa-tagsa. Dere, sa syudad, sa pagkigogma.
ang paghampanay Tanan kita magpunitay Sa bagong ilo-ilo Ilong ko mapulot kalay Patahin ang paghampanay Tanan kita magpunitay Sa bagong ilo-ilo Ilong ko mapulot kalay Patahin ang paghampanay Tanan kita magpunitay Sa bagong ilo-ilo Uswak, ilo-ilo ba? City's 84th Charter Day Digital is brought to you by Human by Mayat Panay News, the number one regional newspaper Congresswoman Jam Jam Baronda of the Lone District of Iloilo City J.S. Lison Metro Pacific Iloilo Water Tubig na limpyo, serbisyo sa Ilonggo Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Iloilo. It's safer and happier to shop, dine, and discover amazing things at Festive Walk, Iloilo. Global business power, enlightening lives, empowering progress. J.S. Lison. Congresswoman Jam Jam Baronda of the Lone District of Iloilo City. Department of Tourism 6. Safely experience Western Visayas first. Human by Mayat. Panay News, the number one regional newspaper. More Power Corporation, bringing more to life.
August 25, 1937, President Manuel L. Quezon, the first president of the Commonwealth period, appointed Dr. Ramon J. Campos the first mayor of Iloilo City. Thus began our city's journey into political autonomy and social progress. Today, August 25, 2021, 84 years thereafter, the city landscape and skylines greet the citizenry with a message of hope and courage. With our beloved Mayor Jerry P. Trenyas at the helm, our journey continues in these challenging times. This pandemic is not only a test of our healthcare system, but also a test of our ability to survive as one community. Iloilo City's 84th Charter Day is a day that reminds us once again of three essential virtues innate in every Ilonggo. Katahom, Kapisan, and Kabakod. These are the fundamental pillars in our fight against this unseen enemy. At home, there is a beauty despite the pain, struggles, and hardships that we go through. Challenging times have taught us to see the shoreline beyond the rough waters ahead, rather than letting ourselves drown. Difficult as it may be, but having a positive outlook and seeing the beauty in every critical situation has become our only choice. This positive outlook has then stemmed into our willingness to band together to shoulder the responsibility of overcoming COVID-19. Every Ilongo has played their role, most especially our medical frontliners who did not mind being covered by their PPEs almost all the time just to allow people to enjoy an extension of life. They were exposed in the dirtiest and ugliest corners of their institutions to save lives, but they kept going. Kapisan, hard work and determination. We combined our individual efforts to make the work easier. We are determined to contribute no matter how big or small it may be, just to ease the burden of our fellow men. We work hard and remain determined despite our limitations. Kabakod, strength. We remain strong even if we really feel tired and weak. We choose to be resilient and continue to act upon the main causes of the problem. Resilience will remain a positive concept and here in Iloilo, it has always been a culture. This resilience has taught us to learn from the past experiences and develop new coping strategies to move forward. Although we are still far from winning this battle, as long as we embody those three virtues, we will always remain positioned on top of any critical situation. Ang katahom sa aton katagipuskoon, ang kapisan nga duna sa aton kag ang kabakod sa aton balatyagon, ang magatibong sa aton padulong sa katalagan. Today may not be the best time to celebrate, but as long as we remain positive, determined, and resilient, there will always be a reason to celebrate. Happy 84th Charter Day to my fellow Ilongos. Uswag Iloilo. The pandemic has united us Ilongos. Proof is the cooperation of the public and private sectors, the sincere service of our elected officials, and the sense of solidarity of the people of Iloilo. Padayan kita mga Ilonggo sa paglabot sa aton mga hando nga may kapisan kagkabakod para sa katahom sa dakbanuang Iloilo. Bato Iloilo, bato dungganon nga Ilonggo.